Hello and thank you for coming. Be welcome to Nesolation. Um, this time uh, the video will be a bit a bit longer, you know, uh, to compensate for the last week without any videos. Uh, it was on vacation actually, and it might and there might actually be some background noises right now. So I'm sorry if you, if it disturbs you. But without further ado, let's just start the video, right? Last time we started right here. Let's see what we need to do. We need to regroup with them. Uh, this down at uh, the well, oh, it's over here, okay. So I need to turn around and just head over. The Aiden does not appear to be nearby. We're in the Marshall Bureau, just turn right at the top of the stairs, you can't miss it. No welcome committee? Just get up here, wait out. Okay, let's see now what uh, waits us. No Aiden around here, it seems. That's great. Okay. Let's check out the map. Um, yeah, it's just right up ahead. Let's hope that it that nothing goes wrong, but something else goes wrong, so yeah. Alright, right. Waits has a plan. Really? His fucking plans haven't done as much good so far. Did you get the transit running? Nice work. Okay, so there's actually Maybe humans. We'll be safe here. For now, anyway. Okay, so now there's actually humans in this game. Nice. How's Taylor? Stable. Should be walking soon enough. Samuels is with her now. Okay. You managed to get transit up and running, so I guess we're leaving. Where's Ricardo? Prepping our next move. Look, I'm busy. I've got Marlo in the cells, the lowlife who showed up with your flight record. Where's Marlo's ship? The Anisadora. He put it in a parking orbit around the gas giant. Son of a bitch won't give us the command codes to let us bring it in on auto. Maybe you can get more out of the unhelpful bastard. Go talk to him. Alright, sorry for the mouse and for the camera angle, I was just trying to fix something here. I hope that things get better right now. So yeah, we need to talk to Marlov, that guy's just um, kinda in jail. And there's the start that I, that I want to cross, but it is locked, so whatever. Where is, where is that guy actually? Oh, he's over there, okay. Let's talk to him. Marlo? Who wants to know? My name is Ripley, I'm with the company. Here if you're at the box already? You got the key, I'll give you that. I'm here for personal reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. You serious? But you sure as hell found something else. What happened out there? I need a way out of here, Ripley. Maybe we can make a deal. Just start talking. I want to know everything. Okay, cutscene time, I guess. So, okay, so... That's what they found out. Probably about the Aiden or something. I'm not really sure. But yeah, that's what is ahead of us now. If it is a cutscene, then I won't be speaking. As well, you know, it's just annoying when someone speaks in cutscenes. Okay, 
Oh, okay, so it is not really a cutscene, but just like a rather a memory of some, of some sort, and I'm actually playing it. It is not a cutscene. So, okay, let's see what's ahead of us now. Uh, right now, at this moment, just trying to figure out how the that, that little scanner works. I'm not really sure though. The needle was quite kind of confusing. There's two of them, but yeah, let's see if I can get the hang of this. Probably so. Once again, sorry for any background noises right here. Um, I can't really do much about that. These guys really walk quite slowly. What's over here? Okay, can, I can't really go over there, so that's a shame. Lewis, have you managed to decode the signal yet? That's good. If it's a mystery, then it's unknown. If it's unknown, then it could be valuable. This could be our biggest harm. Okay, there's not really a map over here, that's a shame. I'm kinda I'm, I'm kinda lost over here, but whatever. I feel like something is about to collapse here, like um this boulder is about to go down or something bad is gonna happen. Actually something bad is gonna happen. There's not really a doubt in that. I need to find a, a way through that. Wait, uh, is the blockade uh, behind me or to the, the one to the right side of me? I can't really tell. Yeah, this mission is kind of confusing. Okay, the wind's kinda bad right now. Yeah, I'm good. 
It was a close one, though. Don't think I'll be able to get back the way I came. Just watch your son, you hear me? The audio is kind of glitch right now, I'm not sure if it's part of the game or just my uh, my headphone. And with really and besides, there's something like really weird going on here. Because, well, just rock collapsing around. Not sure though, let's see. That's what we can find out about this place. Uh, I'm not really sure about what he found, but okay. There's a fissure in the rock. Stand back. I'm gonna blow it. All right. So let's blow up this thing then. Right, so it seems that we are good to go. I'm pausing to do some uh, commentary here. Man, I don't know, there's just like a, quite a lot of a wind background noise in the game, and then there's like a here on my same room that I am as well. So, yeah, I'm gonna pause the game just to so you can hear my voice clear. I hope that helps. Let's get going. Follow me. Another one? Okay then. I love these animations. Seriously, what is this? Okay, so that was it. Okay. So yes, that's th just what they found. Uh, at that weird, weird planet over there, but probably an alien spaceship, from what I saw. Yeah. Do we actually get to play uh, as them go inside the, that spaceship, or do we? I guess that answers my question. Like this, this whole expedition, expedition is just about to die. <laughs> Can't really do much about it, can we? Yeah, there's also like a cars passing by in the the background so I'm sorry for that.
Are these like a chasers or something? I don't know their name in English, so I'm sorry. I don't really speak naturally English, but I guess it can understand me what I mean. So there the thing is then. Okay, we gotta help that guy, this was just kinda slowing us down, but yeah. There's this convenient uh, third over here that just leads straight into the thing. I hope not, but whatever. I mean, like, does do these space suits actually pr actually protect you from like face huggers or ravens? Can't really tell. I think they do like uh, protect you a little, but not enough to save you. I should wait for my for these guys to catch up with me. Let's just wait up here a little. Right, so it seems like it is close enough. Let's see what's further ahead. And oh my god. Exactly. Alright. Well, what is incredible is like um, these guys just like thinking about the money. Like they don't uh, see any draft in this place, which is kind of odd. But whatever, I guess just uh, that's just how they are. I guess the signal comes down from here. Actually, now that I realized, I'm talking like I'm to some guy uh, in the Sevastopol space, space station and he's telling me about this uh, expedition. So, chances are everyone else died except me because I don't know. Maybe the charter and plane has just if we got lucky or something. So yeah, let's just see what happens now. It's 
seriously, before we can do this, like a serious, um, this is not human technology. You just can't mess around with it. And I don't know. This guy's just being kind of imprudent. Uh, so I'm sorry. Not sure. So that nothing bad happens, but it probably will, so whatever. What are these guys doing over there? Oh my god. Oh my god. Exactly, exactly what I said. Seriously, these eggs are just like pop out a. Uh, I think that it is the first face huggers and then aliens. That's just how it works. But anyways, I guess I know now why even here is dead right now. So yeah, I wonder how the guy that, that's telling me this actually managed to survive just to, to survive it. But anyways Yeah, rest in peace these guys. You're just gonna look in there. Yeah, very smart thing to do. Jump CR probably. Jump CR. It was at this moment that Nathan knew. Oh yeah, so yes, that that was it then. And I, I also just kind of heard the. The suit being break, being broken, breaking. So I guess it just really didn't save them at all. So yeah, I guess that was it then. A bad ending for these guys. Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, you need to get me out of here. Not happening, Marlo. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait. My boy's been texted by a split up like a Christmas tree. It's his. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay. 
This way. Got something here you'll need. Oh, that this is nice. But that's just even better. Oh my god. <laughs> Flame tour. And more revolver ammo. Actually, I'm going to gonna recharge my flashlight right now. And then pick, pick this up. Yeah. Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. Hope you're right. I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Sistex fire. I'll coordinate from here. Okay, so now we need to get head over to the to grab a transit um, transit bus car and just go back to somewhere to trap the creature. <laughs> Uh, but still, nonetheless, I think that we that, we, that this was enough for uh, an episode. Next, we're gonna try to trap the creature, Tyrion. Let's hope that it works and the, the things just doesn't go bad. So yeah, I guess I just see you in the next video.